vostri scienziati. respected President of India, esteemed Minister of Commerce, Industry and Textiles, esteemed Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, Chairman of IIT and Secretary of Commerce of India, esteemed Advisor to Prime Minister, Secretaries to Government of India, Excellencies, Senior Officials of Government of India and from President Secretary, members of IFT faculty, staff and ex-employees and our very dear ex-directors and director generals of IIT and beloved students. Exactly 50 years ago, on 2nd of May 1963, a remarkable journey began. IFT was born with the vision of Pandit Nehru as an institution to facilitate external trade in India. And today we gather here to celebrate that vision fulfilled. We are commemorating the significant contribution of the nation made by IIT over the years. Sir, in 60s and 70s, IIT made significant uh, contribution in human resource development for exports when the country needed most the skill development for external trade. In 80s, it evolved into a center for strategy and development when international trade became an integral part of international diplomacy. We are indeed happy to have, uh, have here our beloved Minister of Commerce who has been a guiding spirit of IFG ever since he assumed office. Sir, we welcome you as the head of our family. We are delighted to have Eastern Minister of State for Industries and Commerce with us. Madam, a hearty welcome to you. We also extend a hearty welcome to Sri S.R. Rao, Chairman of IFT and Commerce Secretary, who has been a great patron of IFT. We are delighted to extend a warm welcome to all our distinguished guests here, particularly the ex-directors and the ex-employees who have contributed significantly in the making of this great institution. We are indeed grateful to you. Before I conclude, let me apprise you, sir, that our next chapter of history begins today with your blessings. The vision before us is to become a knowledge center, a single stop hub for international business, strategy, analysis and information. Over the years, we have created three vibrant centers. Center for WTO Studies, Center for MSME Studies, Center for International Trade in Technology. We aspire to add, our, uh, add to our kitty three more centers, Center for Investment, Center for Energy Trading, and Center for Chinese Studies. Sir, over the last 50 years, we responded adequately to the need of foreign trade development in the country. Today, on this occasion of Golden Jubilee, we resolve to enhance our commitment and dedication to the cause of nation building. Thank you very much.
Honorable President of India, Shri Kalaya Kuzuji, Cabinet Minister for Commerce and Industry and Textiles, Shri Anand Sharmaji, Commerce Secretary, Shri S.R. Rao, Director, Dr. Surajit Kutra, other distinguished dignitaries and friends from the media. I deem it a proud privilege to be a part of the Golden Jubilee celebrations of an institute of the country, namely the Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, which has played a leading role in the domain of the country's foreign trade and international business. The presence of the Honorable President of India, who incidentally was the Honorable Minister of Commerce in the formative years of this institute, has lent added credibility and distinction to this great celebration today. On behalf of us all, I pay him my most humble and sincere regards. This institute, as we all know, was set up in 1963 to deal with the problems of foreign trade and investment and to build up effective human resources for the country in this important domain through short-term and long-term training and research programs, including overseas market surveys. It is important to note that the human resource development in any country must account for the needs of a changing organization. Successful organizations, whether family-owned business, proprietorship firms, or joint stock companies, are becoming more adaptive, resilient, quick to change direction, and customer-centered. Therefore, IFT should now focus on research on important policy issues that have widespread implication on countries' future growth and macroeconomic stability. I'm happy to know that IIFT is currently working on a research project on ensuring India's energy security, preparation of a matrix of energy and fertilizer products, and identifying export opportunities to finance the Im imports sponsored by the Ministry of External Affairs. We all would be eagerly looking forward to policy recommendations and follow-up of the project report. In its 50 years of existence, we are proud of IFD. Now, time is right for IFD to draw its plan of action for the future. IFD has earned for itself the repute of an, uh, of an uh, institute of national importance. However, today in a globalized world, we do hope it would rise to be an institute of global repute. I wish the Institute all the very best for completing successful 50 years of academic excellence in the domain of foreign trade and international business. I am sure that in the years to come, IAFT will continue to provide valuable academic inputs to young managers, researchers, policy makers and industry stakeholders both within and outside the country through its focused role in training, research and in, in teaching. Thank you.